What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. What you see on your screen is some set photos from Scream 6 which I believe had its first block of filming take place this past Friday night and they were setting up throughout the day and then they started filming at night. These photos were shared on Twitter by an individual named Eric and I'll leave a link to their Twitter page down in the description. Um, and they seem like they're going to be going back to the set not necessarily I guess doing anything nefarious but of course going there to see what they can gather about what's happening what what's being shot if they can see what little scenes or sequences are being shot at whatever point if they can manage to get back on set so a lot of this stuff that you're seeing like this ambulance and then of course there's like a, a nypd car that you saw first that confirms the nypd at least that's confirming that we are indeed in new york ghostface is going to be in new york so what this means is that of course the the majority of this movie will not be in new york uh, it's going to be in Woodsboro and then for whatever reason we'll end up in New York for the last 30 minutes for those of you who've seen Jason takes Manhattan I'm sure you'll understand that joke so here we have a news van as well I assume this is a news van um, I'm going to assume that this might have something to do with Gail Weathers arriving after a crime occurs after our opening kill and then she arrives on the scene after the fact and we'll get to see her for the very first time very early on in the movie I'm now more convinced now than ever uh, with Nev Campbell out that Courtney Cox's Gail Weathers is going to be in, in involved in this uh, narrative for Scream 6 much more than Gail has been involved with any other nar narrative for any past Scream movies. I, something is telling me, not that she's going to be the main focus, but something just tells me that whatever the material is that she's given to work with will be something that is trumping everything else that she's had to deal with in the past Scream movies. Uh, something seems like it's she's just going to be more integral to the narrative this time around than any other time she was in these movies. So we'll see what happens and we'll see what what takes place when filming starts back up. I believe it starts back up on Monday. For those of you who know for sure, you can let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, the other thing we're going to talk about in this video is some possible character breakdowns that were on the twitter timeline that i came across these aren't necessarily official but we're just going to talk about them because there are certain things that could indicate that it might be true but then there's other things that can indicate that it's not true and i'll break both of those things down uh but getting into a post that eric actually posted on his twitter in regards to what he thought was happening during the filming the, the first block of filming for scream six he said from what i've seen tonight they were getting ready to shoot a murder scene, or at least the aftermath of a death scene. Police cars, TV news truck, ambulance, coroner. They were in front of an apartment building in a fictive street set in New York City. I was able to be on set for a while until the very last minute. I even heard quiet rolling. Um, Tyler and Melissa were beside me talking. I got to say hi to Melissa and she replied with a smile. Very beautiful. Then we were politely asked to leave the set as they were blocking the whole street. I did not see Jenna. Just heard that she was around uh, around 1.30 a.m. Many extras left the set costume. It looked like it was a frat party or something. I don't think they filmed the opening scene tonight. Filming wrapped around 2 a.m. as the streets reopened. Now, the thing about this is I also heard somebody say that somebody on set had like a Christmas ornament they were wearing. So this now has people thinking we're set in winter time for for Scream 6. I saw someone else suggest I think this was big screen leaks, actually. E easy mistake. <laughs> they said that uh, maybe we'll see the original white robe idea that Wes Craven had for Ghostface. I guess that was an original idea. And I was like, I could go into many reasons why they won't do that. But then they followed up with a tweet understanding. I guess they caught themselves because I, I think we know why. We won't see a, a, a white a white robed <laughs> killer killing people in, in this movie, especially when some of them are black. <laughs> I, I think it's pretty clear why we won't see that. So that that these set photos, they are at least nice to know that we are in New York. And again, knowing that Gail is in New York, again, it just seems like Gail Weathers, without the presence of Sydney, Gail is gonna have a lot of time to shine here. She's gonna have a lot of time to show her worth to this series because a lot of people are doubting her so when it comes to these character breakdowns so again none of this is confirmed it says that one of the characters name is eric night he's 19 years old he is christina's shy geeky friend eric is a <laughs> eric is a snack but tends to be nervous in social settings especially when it involves the opposite sex eric is supposed to be a lead 
And then you have Derek. Now remember Derek from the audition tape, late 20s. He is Carla's neighbor, a handsome, fit, charming, and self-aware out-of-work actor. S stuff very similar to the audition tape. Derek has caught Carla checking him out before. Her window looks into his apartment. He always walk around shirtless. He's also a lead. And then you have Alicia, who's 20 years old. She is Angel's loving girlfriend who has a watchful eye on her friends. When Greg drunkenly talks to a strange girl at a party, Alicia fo follows to make sure he's okay. Claire is 19 years old. She is Gideon's roommate. Pretty confident and fun. She is not ashamed of her sexuality. She dates multiple men at the same time and considers herself sex positive as opposed to slutty. She's also a lead. Now, the reason why some of us might think this is true is because of Derek and the wording there and how it seems to be matching up with what was in that audition tape and how we got confirmation that that audition tape was indeed for Scream 6. But then the other stuff that might make this untrue is the fact that all of these people say lead. There's no way all of these people are leads. I mean, they could be, but I just find that hard to believe. But the other thing that was making me think that this is real is because of the fact that it mentions Carla, Derek's neighbor, who, again, all these details match up with the audition tape. So we'll see if any of this ends up being true, because it's possible that, again, all of these are just code names. One of these people in this description could indeed be Chad, like Greg, for instance. Greg could be Chad. Uh, Alicia could be. I, I don't know. Some, like somebody here could be Mindy. <laughs> Derek could, of course, not end up being Derek. It could be somebody else, somebody else that's not named Derek. But Carla could, of course, be Sam Carpenter, because, again, from the audition tape, we were gathering that that's Sam Carpenter and they're disguising it as Carla. But maybe we are going to meet someone who has a similar backstory like Sam and she's living with trauma and all this other stuff. And maybe we're going to focus on her a little bit. I don't know. It just seems like Carla is a cold name for Sam Carpenter. It, I find it hard to believe we're going to have two traumatic lead stars to worry about <laughs> outside of the Carpenter sisters. So we'll see what ends up happening with Scream 6. But let me know what you guys think about all these details. And are you excited about it being set in New York? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.